what are taxane chemotherapies from your perspective? So they're an interesting class of compound. So these are actually derived from trees. I was kind of digging into the history of taxanes to kind of try to understand, like, how did they get developed? Like, did Billy eat a lot of tree bark and then die the next day? Like, how did, you know, how did the early humans realize, like, you know, that there's something medicinal or an effect in this? And I wasn't able to find how they discovered that, but apparently they've known about the kind of poisonous aspects of this type of tree since even like Julius Caesar's time is like the earliest recorded like casualty of somebody that like drank too much yew juice and died. And they said even like the Vikings used to like maybe dip their arrows and like some of the sap from the tree. So just like very interesting that like humans have known for centuries that there's something in these plants. And then they started developing them in like the 60s, 70s, and I think got FDA approved in the mid 90s for breast cancer. So we've been using them for decades. And the way that they work, paclitaxel and docetaxel work very similarly, as, as you might guess, they're kind of cousins. They're both derived from this family of tree. We hope you like this video. To support cancer research and get clear expert answers about cancer, follow us and visit crackingcancer.org to join the cracking cancer community.